galaxy likely will undergo a catastrophic merger several billion years from now. Everyone who looks at the picture of the tadpole is struck by how much it resembles the... I think it is likely that astronomers will use the advanced camera to make discoveries that will change the way we view the universe. When we saw the first ACS images, my colleagues and I were stunned. We knew that the ACS would be good, but we had underestimated how extraordinary the images would be. The first picture demonstrates the advanced camera's superb performance. The galaxy, which we nicknamed the tadpole, is approximately 420 million light years away, or about 200 times farther than our nearest large neighbor, the Andromeda galaxy. Can come up to the stage and see faint red sources for themselves on the poster behind me. To illustrate the wealth of information in ACS images, we will pan across the picture of the tadpole. As we move down the tail, you see two bright blue clumps of stars. Distant island universes that are similar to our galaxy are sprinkled throughout the image, and you'll see those as we now move over towards the corner. It's just galaxy after galaxy. There are twice as many galaxies in the image as the tadpole as were found in the first Hubble Deep Field. This the picture shows the most detail and the most stars that have ever been seen in these galaxies, which are 300 million light years from the Earth. The next picture shows individual blue supergiants and a thin tidal bridge between the two galaxies, as well as the intricate detailation shows that the two galaxies will eventually merge, forming a large elliptical like galaxy. The stars, gas, and cluster in the tails will eventually fall back into the merged galaxies or orbit in the halo of the newly merged galaxy. Our last pictures show the interaction between hot young stars and the gas and dust from which they formed. The first is an image of the so-called cone nebula. The cone nebula is a star form.